Hmm. So yeah, we are here at Mother's Heart. It's time to continue with the next step. I guess it's gonna be the proving. Yeah, it was a sad thing uh, saying goodbye to Rust, but I guess that's how the story goes, so... Ooh. What's happening? You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> yeah. Try telling him that. Uh, oh, I know who it is. Later. May the goddess protect. The guy who, who we saved? Looking cool though. Strange, I was able to turn her around the previous time, but now it didn't work. So let's go visit our little friend here. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? I knew Over it was here. him. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Hey, maybe you could make me some armor. For this day, I've made an outfit for you. Thanks. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Ooh, nice. Sell you some stuff, maybe? Okay, bye. The new Nora Braves armor, stitched by Tab, accentuated by Alloy's own designs, offers no extra protection but can be upgraded. So there's one modification in there. So let's buy that. There you go. Equip it. Yeah, yeah, equip it. And then there's these. Which I could ha get. Rigged for endurance and protection against all the elements. This armor is well tested against the extremes of the sacred land. Stitched for stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to hear and see. Okay. Protector of life. Noah's Bay of Armor reinforced. Yeah. So I guess I need a lot more shant then. Ten more. And this silent... Man, this is going to be amazing. Okay, so I have a piece of armor now. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, okay. I shouldn't keep you any longer. 
Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja Karya. visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Chilyavik. Probably not spears. In any case, be ready to die. Some tomatoes. You're, you're gorgeous, you know. And, I'm liking and it. I'm liking the game. No, no, no. Wait. It's uh, like this and then crafting. And I have an, an outfit which I can upgrade. And I have plus 15 resist melee attacks. Plus 10 resist melee attacks, freeze resist, and stealth. I think I'm going to be using this one. Yeah, okay. Let's use this one. There you go. So I've got a piece of armor. What do I do? Go to the merchant's lodge. Okay. What's this? I'm trying to do everything, Yavik. Side quest, side quest, main quests. Interesting. I've been playing for two days now. And uh, as you can see, I haven't even done the proving yet. So yeah, I've been doing trying to do every single spat it up you're drunk why do you have to go climbing houses oh not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs huh <laughs> so yeah i'm trying to do every single side quest Get i can find now oh that's well, just what you want isn't it for me to fall on my head this one is telling a scary story why are you Aloy, over here. Normal, normal. I play on normal. In a moment we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with a card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. How long will it last until <laughs> they get killed? An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Avada. and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor, uh, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Easy mode, Yavik. Created my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. But normal mode, whatever my it is. My own sister was taken. I hated the card. The default difficulty mode. The 13th King is dead. Two years now. Mm. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends. I will deny these of chests. Your proving, Unknown device no, detected. The Karja <laughs> stand with you no, no, as no, the sun's no, light no, frames the stoutest no, tree. No, He's wearing no, focus, no, just like no, mine. No, and the Karja have come to make amends. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? 
Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. <laughs> As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> yeah, tried to save that. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Now he wants to pick a fight? What else do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Yeah, the Red Raids. What I are the Red Raids? I never about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your Not tribe true. was at war and you didn't even know? Oh. <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? Yeah, actually something like that. I grew like up that. as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh. Yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. It is kind of cruel. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Yeah. We're starting to get some, some uh, information on the background uh, story. I know it had something to do with the... Uh, with the machines, but how, how it just all fits together. I knew the machines were getting worse and worse. And that there was something with blood done, but uh, man, it's been so long since I went to uh, to that press, uh, press conference thingy. That I can't really remember what the exact story is. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come <laughs> visit. Maybe someday. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. Brewing? Freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. 
Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. The vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's, she's my captain. Mm -hmm. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? <laughs> or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. He keeps trying to hit on Aloy. <laughs> you said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. Mm -hmm. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. I can't remember how the... Is it because of disturbance of nature? I can't remember. Anyway. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. <laughs> sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Okay. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I think I had everything. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah, I should make my yeah. way to the blessing. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Nice anyway, try. I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. Maybe. So now I need to go to the blessing ceremony. Okay. It's for the goddess. Too. Come on over, Aloy. Wait, it's the merchant? Karst? What are you doing here? Yeah. Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Mm hmm. So, Mother's well, Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? <laughs> <laughs> I 
truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> don't go soft on me. I don't know if I need to trade I'll something. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. I think I'm pretty much topped up on everything. Maybe some more potions? I don't have the shards for it though. What? Treasure boxes. I still have no idea what this is. Pan new traveler. I can't buy that. Until next time. Next time you'll be a brave. I hope so. I've got a detonating blast trap. Okay, so I need to go to the to the thingy. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. You know what? I'm going to be taking a very, very, very quick break. <laughs>